Now some very, very sketchy details reaching us here at Sky Centre. Important enough to bring to you though at this early stage, we believe that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Centre in New York. That happened within the last few moments. No details at this stage as to what sort of plane it is. It could well be a large plane. We are hearing reports of a 737 not yet confirmed um, yet, although it is a jet. Um, more as we have it. You can see that uh, the upper floors of the North Tower of the World Trade Center, once the tallest building in the world, very much involved in smoke and flame after a report, a report of a plane crashing into the side of the building. We have on the phone with us Dr. Vernon Gross. He's a former investigator with the National Transportation Safety Board. In your view, um, this could have been an accident. It, it, we're not necessarily talking about a deliberate, a deliberate act here. I wouldn't think so immediately at all. Uh, you've got to find out why he crashed. And if, obviously, if it's a deliberate terrorist act, then there'll be a message probably from somebody taking credit for it. But right now, it sounds as though the early morning sun, we've had drivers and, and cars get blinded, you know, by the sun. You, you could have aircraft trouble. Um, so he, he could be distracted. Uh, there's a number of reasons why the, the aircraft might hit the building. Clouds and smoke billowing from the top of that building, 110 stories high. And as you can see, the pl I don't know if you just saw the plane flying. There's another by. explosion. Another plane. We just saw a plane flying by, waiting for it to come out of the other side of that building. And it didn't. Let's listen to our colleagues from New York. To the second tower. This raises, this has to be deliberate, folks. Well, that would begin to say that, yeah. We just saw on live television as a second plane flew into the second tower of the World Trade Center. Now, given what has been going on around the world, um, some, of the, some of the key suspects come to mind, Osama bin Laden, who knows, who knows what. Let's uh, speak to Mike Yardley, who's a terrorism expert, joins us now. But you have to remember that the whole purpose of terrorism is to create psychological casualties. It's not just to kill people, it's to use the threat of extreme violence to cause people to be frightened, to create political change. And there's another element which I think is very important and which is demonstrated in this terrible attack, and that is theatre. Here you have something which the media of the world simply cannot ignore. And it's very difficult to know how we should respond to that. And I think we have to say with due measure and not without hysteria, because otherwise we are doing the work of the terrorists for them. They want us to be frightened. They want us to sit up and take notice. These are terrible attacks, um, but nevertheless, there's still a need for a sense of proportion. Crossing to the World Trade Center in New York. Just a moment or two ago, we saw the Twin Tower. It's some 110 stories high. It's starting to fall apart. There's no other way of expressing what's happening. As you can see these pictures. What we can see here uh, to be faltering to some degree. They were not designed, perhaps, to take a direct strike from something the size of a 737 or perhaps a, an Airbus, perhaps fully loaded with fuel. Steel will melt. Um, as you know, there has been an explosion at the Pentagon, which is across the river, uh, about four or five miles from the city centre. There have been reports of explosions in other parts of the city, but I suspect that there's a little tiny bit of panic creeping in here, and people are reporting bangs as explosions. There's no confirmation of other explosions, but certainly every government building in Washington has been closed, and the uh, staff of these buildings have been told, look, go home. It doesn't matter how you get home, just go home. Uh, try not to use cars because the roads are totally blocked, but go home, get away. And, of course, that's causing a considerable amount of confusion, not to say panic Keith, here. Well, with us one Keith. second, Keith Graves. We're taking live pictures from our colleagues at Fox News in New York. We know that one of the Twin Towers at the World Trade Center in New York collapsed a short time ago. Some 25,000 people work inside that building. 
you just saw live here on Sky News, the second tower America has collapsed. The prayer. second tower has collapsed.